Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio and thank you for joining me today on this video. We're showing you how to connect SSH into your NAS. You've got a Synology NAS, you want to enable SSH, you then want to log in using PuTTY, using the terminal, whatever it may be on a Mac, on a PC, on Linux. We're going to show you how to do that today. Before we do get into that, please subscribe, clicking on that button on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. So we're talking SSH on the Synology NAS. Before we do get into that, I wanna let you know about a full length training course that I've got around all things Synology NAS. In the show notes, I've got a link right there where I go into detail around the basics, how to install, how to configure, how to troubleshoot your Synology NAS, and then into more advanced features on your Synology NAS that I know that you will definitely find helpful. So do check out the show notes below so that you can get directed to that. So you wanna know how to get SSH running. How do you SSH into a Synology NAS? Of course, SSH is super, super useful when you need to do further troubleshooting, when you wanna access certain features that are not readily available from the GUI, from the graphical user interface. You can use something like PuTTY, you can use something like Terminal on a Windows, on a Mac computer. You'll then get access to a lot of other stuff that you may not commonly get access to. I'm now logging into my browser. I'm just connecting into the IP address of my Synology NAS and we'll show you how to do that. From our Synology NAS, we're gonna go in our control panel over here. And in the very bottom right hand corner, you've got Terminal and SNMP. And under here, you've got Enable SSH Service. All right, so we're gonna tick on that. Now the default port for SSH is 22. You can keep that or you can actually change it. I would recommend you just keep it uh, as 22 because that is the standard SSH port. You'll see that there's a note down the very bottom that says SSH or Telnet only supports logins from accounts belonging to the administrators group. In our case, we're gonna be using SSH, not Telnet. And you need to make sure that they're part of the group under here, administrators. So whatever account you're going to be using to log in to this Synology NAS, it needs to be part of the administrators group, okay? So if you don't have that, you're gonna to need to go into the users area and actually add the user and then add that user to the administrators group. There is a different way that we can log in and I'm gonna show you how to do that so you can actually log in as the admin uh, by default on the Synology NAS if you so choose to. So that's that. Of course, it's recommending you to set a strong password, all right? So that is now set on a Windows computer. We're gonna download and open up PuTTY. All right, so if you don't have PuTTY, you need to go and download it completely for free. And in here, we're gonna type in 172.16.1.50. The port, of course, being 22, which is what we've identified before. And we're gonna now say open, little warning. Yep, we're gonna say fine, we trust this. We're gonna say yes. We're gonna log in as the admin and then throw in the password. And now we're logged in right into there, okay? And that's on a Windows computer. Let's now log into the Mac and we'll do it from there. Okay, so in my terminal window, because I'm doing this from a Mac, or if you're doing this from a Linux computer, then you need to create yourself a super user. You need to elevate your privileges on that computer. You're gonna do a sudo dash i and then ssh and then one, I'm gonna put my uh, username. Okay, so I'm gonna log in as the admin, which is this admin right here. Uh, and that's the admin that is a administrator member. Now what you can do before I press enter, over here, you can click on, please refer to terminal for more information. And you can see exactly what is required. Just so gonna give you some information here. All right, and then down the bottom, note, run the command sudo i, and then enter the password to log in. All right, which is exactly what I am doing from my terminal window over here. And then we press enter. Again, if you're doing this from PuTTY, uh, this won't be relevant. Now this is gonna ask me for the password for my uh, for my Mac because I'm, I'm elevating my privileges. It's my Mac password first uh, and then afterwards it'll then ask me for the password for the Synology NAS. Okay, good. Now it's got admin at and then my IP address of my Synology NAS and that's when you now put in the password for admin. Okay, of course, if you've got your different local admin user, you put in the relevant password for that. All right, and I'm logged in. That's it. It looks good if it's green we're in there and you can do an LS. Now this is all uh, Linux, essentially it's a Unix backend. So you need to understand the Linux operating system or at least the commands to be able to actually go and navigate through this. But you can see right there, I can do an LS to sort of list all of my files. Uh, I know that all of my stuff is listed within my volume. So I can do a change directory, volume one, like so and list. And there's all my files. So I've got change uh, directory data 
and there's all of my stuff that I've got listed inside my Synology NAS. Now from within here, you could, you've got essentially full admin rights to the back end command line on your Synology NAS and then exit just to get out of there. Now, I would also recommend that you don't leave SSH on all the time. SSH should really only be used for administrative purposes. So as a security recommendation, I would almost say that whenever you uh, finish working on the SSH, you go back into here and you turn it off and we say apply. You can leave it on if you want. I recommend generally turning it off unless you actually need it. So SSH into your Synology NAS is now done. Thank you so much for spending the time. Really, really appreciate it. Do what you need to do across the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on the face right over there and check out some of my other videos so that you don't miss out on anything around all things tech.